Okay. Learning how to learn. The closest word I can think of for learning how to learn is metacognition. You can learn, you can use alarm to understand this concept, just like anything else. Let's break it apart into its pieces. First, we look at the parts of this one word, this concept, cogni, to cognize, to recognize, to see, to perceive. Mata, in the Greek is sort of like change, go beyond. What I'm trying to do with the metacognitive process is help kids see, to perceive beyond what they're seeing now, well, unless they're already perfect. And I might say some kids are doing all of this already without me, okay? Whether they understand it or see it and know what they're doing is another idea. But I'm trying to help kids see beyond where they are now, for myself too. Whenever I'm trying to learn something new, I'm going beyond. But I want to cognize it, I want to be aware of it. How do I help kids do this? Okay? So many times I think of a question. The kid gives me his response. The student. Yeah? It's just that sometimes when they create their response, I come along and I go, oh. 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 And I put these X's down. And kids go, oh no, what's wrong, what's wrong? What's the mistake? I go, nothing wrong exactly. I put X's to mark the spot. And I'm letting you know in your response that something is missing. That's all. I'm going to help you see for yourself what you particularly are missing from your knowledge and understanding. What are you actually missing? Because if no one lets you know, and that's basically what an assessment is. To assess means to let you know what you're missing. This is where you stand in your learning. And it's showing it up in the responding. This leads to so, sort of letting them understand for themselves and my art my art in teaching is, well, if that's what's missing, I have a choice. I can either just give you the answer, or I can help this reflective process. Can I come up with another question? Really, that's my skill of teaching, is can I come up with a question to help you arrive at the answer for yourself? I could give you the answer, or I can come up with a question that helps you see beyond. The second part of this is, especially for, medic, for learning, remember what we said learning is. Learning is the acquisition of the knowledge and, and content and understanding, but it's also the skills necessary to do so. If I ask you a question rather than give you an answer, then I can help you see something else, or I can learn something about you, is not only is there something missing in your content, but I'm going to use this word, sometimes there are gaps <laughs> in your learning skills. Sometimes you don't have the skill of knowing like if I asked for five strategies, but you only knew three, if there's five parts to the process, but you know two, I'm letting you know some kids can't remember that, can't see it. So maybe they're, they're, they have a gap in their learning skill. So if I'm asking questions at different levels, I'm hoping I'm contributing, I'm, I'm, I'm helping you progress in your learning skills by asking you questions. Such as when I ask the kids, why? <laughs> why is it so? Then I'm helping 
any of these skills, including reflection. Yeah. So it's really important that we get to this level that when they respond, I help them see what they're missing in their response.